the last framework that we look at as part of ideation is called a journey map. It's called by other names too. Uh, the essential advantage of this method is a lot of product managers talk about empathy. The most overused term is empathy. Uh, and people love to imagine they can walk in the feet of the customer. If you can actually do it, it's great. It will make for a great product manager. I'd rather focus on a more data-based approach to actually feel like what the customer is doing to uncover the pain point of the customer is one of the advantages of using the journey map. The structure is not important. What you identify with the journey map is there is a baseline there is an enhanced experience and there is an unpleasant experience. Customers fall into two categories. I won't bother with the kind of category which doesn't care or is indifferent. That's not useful for this discussion. You map out uh, the various portions of the product that you're trying to build. Just for the sake of continuity, I'll pick up on the 4K um, VR headset example. So in this case, I have my baseline, I have the enhanced and the unpleasant experience. You prepare the headset, you experience the headset, you enhance it with whatever kind of features. Then there's a social aspect of the friends and the fans sharing their videos. You relive your moments and you put down your headset. So this is the sequence that I'm kind of going to go through. 